Hi guys, I'm going to do a disassembly video. My favourite soldering iron has stopped working. I've already checked it and it is actually the um, heater elements gone, but I'll run through the basic checks anyway. First of all we're in the UK so we have a three pin plug. Earth, live, neutral. And we have a fuse. So first thing to check would be the fuse. The fuse is on the live side. So if we go straight across the fuse, we should get a full short circuit. So the fuse is good. This is the sort of plug that you're not supposed to take apart. There's no screws in it for disassembling it. It's a sealed plug to stop people messing about with it. So next thing we should be able to do is measure from these two pins, the live and the neutral, as we call them, and we should be able to see the heater element. We should see the resistance of it. So going on there and we've got nothing. Just check there's nothing going to the earth wire either. There shouldn't be but if something's gone dramatically wrong there could be. So nothing. If we try a different soldering iron my reserve go across the same two pins, the live and the neutral and we can see the resistance of the heater element. In this case it's at 1.8 K. So that's what we should be seeing but we're not. So we'll put that one away again. So we'll take it apart. Is there anything interesting in there? Well first of all it's only got two screws. This one holds the heater element in place, which is the bottom section, and this one is a plastic gripper that grips onto the cable. So we can actually pull this away from the handle. Now we can see the three wires. Brown is live, blue is neutral, and the yellow and green is the earth. So we could check for continuity. We go on the live there and the live here. There we go. Full short circuit. So that wire is okay. Well, I'll just prove there's nothing coming out of the neutral. So Full short to the live, that should go through the heater element and back out to the neutral, but there's nothing there. So we know where the short where the disconnection is, it's in the heater element. If we go on the other side, we're on the blue wire now. So now we go full short circuit. Nothing over there, nothing touching the earth. So we have proved that the fault is between there and there. And there's nothing more we can take apart. The solder tip comes off, but there's, there's nothing in here that you can take apart and fiddle with. So we're stuck, basically. The only thing we can do is buy a new soldering iron. They might sell that piece on its own. I doubt it very much. But... Um, the actual new soldering iron, they're, they're relatively expensive this size, the 18 watt ones. 30 watt ones are cheaper. <laughs> it must be supply and demand. They actually have a greater demand for these, so they co cost a bit more money. At least that's my cynical way of looking at it. What else can I tell you? 
it's not particularly clear, but written on the case it does actually say N for neutral. There's an earth mark there for the earth wire, and L for live on there. But that's it. My soldering iron is no more. So I've either got to buy a new one or make use of my spare, which is a bit big and lumpy. I don't like that one.